I'm Zane Redfern, home decorating enthusiast and creator of At Home with Zane. So today, friends, we're going to talk about pillar candles. Now, recently I shared with all of you how we redid a wall in our front living room, and I ordered some large wall sconces uh, for that room, and they are pillar candle wall sconces um, and you can use a flameless candle or a real candle and I've chosen to use a flameless candle for a couple of reasons number one I really want a candle that's battery operated and on a timer so that I don't have to mess with taking the glass off and on to light the candle um, I think it's a little bit safer and I can leave it on for a period of time and it will go off and on by itself so when I decided that I was going to use a flameless candle, um, I went online and I started looking. So the first thing that I've known for a while, but um, I really learned more about pillar candles than I probably, um, not necessarily that I probably cared to ever know, but more than I probably feel like I ever would need to know about them. Um, when I went on the search looking for the perfect pillar candle to put inside of these glass hurricanes. So the first thing that we're going to talk about are the different styles of pillar candles and why you should know the difference between the different styles and, and what you're getting when you're looking for a pillar candle. There are so many out there on the market right now. They all do something different. Uh, some of them are LED. Some of them have an LED flame that flickers. Uh, some of them have an actual flickering moving flame like the Luminara candles. And they also have different styles. So the first thing that I'm going to share with you is um, before I move on to the actual candles that I bought, because I feel like I, I sort of wish I would have had a little bit of education behind this when I started looking because originally um, I picked a candle that I wasn't happy with and I knew instantly as soon as I put it in that I wasn't going to be happy with it long term. So I went on a hunt and it brought me to the perfect candle. But had I had a little bit of education behind it uh, when I started, I probably wouldn't have had the struggle that I did. So. First off, they, there are several different types of pillar candles in terms of the style. And so the first one I'm going to share with you is what is considered to be the melted edge candle. The melted edge candle is the one that looks as if it has already been burnt down. And I do have some of these and they have the edges where it's molded out as if the wax is burned already and the candle has been used. And back here a little bit where you don't get so much of the reflection, you can see that. So I like these and these have kind of always been my go-to, but I have to say after finding the candle that I found, these are definitely on the back burner now. These are something that I will still use, but they are definitely not what I would be uh, going to as a first choice. So this is going to be your melted edge candle. That's what this is called, melted wax um, or melted edge. That's what this candle is. The second one is what they call the classic pillar candle. And that is a candle that is flat on the top, but hollowed out in the center. So this candle is hollowed out in the center here, and you can see that the, the flame is down in the center. So the reason that I don't like these is because you really just get glow like in here. And to me, that really doesn't at all all give you the effect of a realistic candle. Um, you get a little bit more realistic look if you have a candle that has what is called a standing flame. And the uh, first candle I showed you, the Melted Edge, um, those often will have a standing flame. The thing about that is they typically only just light up. And unless you buy the Luminara or the one I'm getting ready to share with you, the flame doesn't actually flicker. Now they do have some that have an LED light inside. We'll go back to this one for a second and then back here. They, that, that does have an LED light inside that kind of creates like a little bit of a waved look to make it look as if it's actually flickering. Um, but 
it, it's really not. The flame is completely, um, it doesn't move. It's very, very, very stationary. So back to the classic here. Um, I don't like these because really all it does is just illuminates on the inside of the candle. So I knew for certain I didn't want the melted edge because I think it has a really artificial look to it even though it did have more of a standing flame like I wanted so I picked one of these up first and I put it in there and I immediately knew that I didn't like it the uh, classic I didn't use it all because I didn't like it I wanted something that had a standing flame so I went on a search and I thought, who, aside from Luminara, because their candles are exquisite, they're beautiful, they are the most realistic looking flickering flame um, because they were designed for the, I'm almost certain, I hope I don't get this wrong, they were designed for the Disney Haunted Mansion, I wanna say, um, and so, when Disney approached them about creating a candle, they wanted something that had the most realistic flickering flame. Um, and that was where the Luminara candle with the flickering flame came into play. I didn't wanna pay $80 for one pillar candle. So what I did is I went to Pottery Barn's website and I knew what the candle looked like that I wanted. I just didn't know that there was actually a name for it. So I went to Pottery Barn's website because I thought, okay, who is a retailer that I absolutely love? I put a lot of stock in the quality of their merchandise and they more times, 99% of the time, they get it right. So I went to their website first and lo and behold, there was my candle and I fell in love with it instantly but it was $69.99 for the seven inch pillar candle which at the end of the day if I wasn't able to find what I wanted I was going to pay the $70 per candle but I really didn't want to but what I did learn from Pottery Barn's website is that there is a pillar candle called a flat top now, when you go to the store and you buy a pillar candle that is natural with a wick, you either get a round top or you get a flat top, but they're both gonna have a standing flame. They're both gonna have a wick that you're gonna light. So, lo and behold, I did not know this, but there is something called a flat top pillar candle. So. I ruled out the $70 price. I went to Amazon. I now knew what I was looking for. I typed in flat top seven inch pillar candle and I found it. So this company, and this is not a sponsored video. I wish it were because um, then I wouldn't have had to have paid for my candles. But it's not a sponsored video, but I'm sharing this with you all because um, these candles are just exquisite. I was like, Ah, I was amazed when I got them. I was in awe of how beautiful and realistic they are. Um, they are by far the most comparable candle to a Luminara that I have ever seen. So the company is called Muse, M-U-S-E, Alight, A-L-I-G-H-T. And here is what the box looks like. This candle is a seven inch vanilla scented candle yes so not only is it a battery operated candle but it's also scented and here's what the candle looks like out of the package and i still have the plastic wrap around it so as you can see it has the moving flickering flame now i am going to dim all of the lights so that you can see what this looks like in the dark so you're not going to really be seeing me but you're going to be able to get a really good idea of what this looks like in the dark and it's absolutely stunning but before i do that i want to tell you a little bit about this candle because i did a little video clip over on instagram saying video coming soon and i talked about the candle and i already had questions 
So this has a six hour timer, six hours on, 18 hours off, and it is remote controlled. I had a woman who asked me if it was remote controlled because she wants to use it um, in some window shelving that's up really, really high. So the remote control was important for her. This is remote controlled. Here's the remote. I bought two candles. I have two packages here. Here's one, here's one. Each candle comes with its own remote, but it's universal, so you only need one candle to control both of them. Now, the one thing that I did learn about the uh, remote is that the candle cannot be in timer mode and it cannot be off. It has to be in the on position and it has an on and off switch. It doesn't have a bunch of fancy stuff. It's just on or off, or you can set it to the timer mode, or you can just simply put it on on, and then you can manually turn it off and on yourself if you wanted to, but with the remote control, um, that wouldn't be my first choice. So. I am going to dim the lights so that I can show you how beautiful this candle is whenever it is lit and illuminated and it has a unique feature and I'm going to show you exactly how it works. It has an extremely unique feature to where you can physically blow out the candle as if it were a real lit flamed candle. You can blow on it and it will go out and you blow on it and it comes back on. So like, how cool is that? If you wanted to set it out on a table, on a tray, or on a beautiful pillar candle holder, and you did wanna keep it in the on position, and you wanted to just blow it out, blow it back on, it's just such a unique feature. So I'm gonna go ahead and dim the lights and show you how absolutely beautiful this looks in the dark. And then I'm gonna show you how the remote control works and I'm also going to show you the um, how you can blow the candle out. Okay, so we do have a little bit of light, of course, in here so that it's not completely pitch black. But as you can see, this candle has a moving flame. And if you look at how it bounces off of the top of my hand, that looks like a realistic flame. That looks like it's a real candle inside of this glass hurricane. And it's absolutely gorgeous. It's illuminated at the top, the flame is flickering, and it's so, so beautiful. Look at that. Um, this is exactly what I was looking for. I wanted something where the flame actually moved back and forth and created that illusion of a real candle. So right now I've got it in this glass hurricane. It is on the on position or in the on position and I've got my remote and I'm just going to turn it off. So there you go. So simple. You can just flip it on. Absolutely gorgeous. Or you can flip it off or you can use it in the timer mode. Now while it's on you can also blow the candle out. One thing that I have learned, um, <clears throat> pardon me, is that you can't blow it out from the side, like you can't just blow directly at the candle. You have to be a little bit above it. There must be some sort of a sensor inside of there. So we're gonna blow the candle out. So there you have it. I've blown the candle out and I've blown the candle back on. I think that that is such a cool feature and it's actually not something that I've been made aware of that you can do with a Luminara even. So I don't know, maybe they've come up with that technology, uh, you know, by now. But anyway, once again, absolutely gorgeous, realistic, flickering flame, beautiful, beautiful. I absolutely love these vanilla scented i've only had it on for a few few seconds and i can already smell it they are made of real wax so you're going to get that very beautiful realistic uh look and feel with this candle so i'm going to go ahead and turn the lights back on and we'll wrap this video up okay so this is the candle it's again it's seven inches um tall and it is Let's see here. I know it's on here. 
um, I believe it's 3.75 inches in diameter. So it's a pretty substantial candle. And again, it's absolutely gorgeous. So I'm also going to include a link um, of what it looks like in the candle hurricane that uh, the candle sconces rather that are hanging on the wall. Um, again, it is going to be dark the video so that you can get a really good look as to what it looks like at night. Um, so I'm going to insert a video clip right after this of what it looks like whenever it's lit and it's in the candle sconces. Now, these were $26.99 each, which is way less than Pottery Barn was asking for theirs. And quite frankly, this has a lot more features than the Pottery Barn candles did. And they look nearly identical. Um, $26.99 each. I am going to include a link in my video description of where you can go to purchase them. Again, this is not a sponsored video. Um, I wish it were because it really would have saved me some money on these, but I love them and I paid for them and I'm so happy that I got them, guys. If you're looking for something that's beautiful and realistic and you don't want to spend the money on the Luminara, the only thing that I can suggest to you 100% is use a good battery. Use an Energizer or a Duracell or something that's going to be long lasting because once you have them where you want them, especially if they're encased in a sconce or up in a large windowsill, you don't want to have to be changing out the batteries all the time. So use a good battery in these. This is absolutely beautiful. I'm thrilled about it. I'm thrilled to be able to share it with all of you. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Watch for the clip at the end and we'll look for you the next time.